Meantime, we are very happy to have here with us a lady cyclist who has gone through a lot of fun and challenges as a cyclist. She was a gold medalist in the 2015 SEA Games, and she never stops racing for fun and competitions. A student of dentistry and currently into business while still giving our country honors as a member of the Philippine National Pool in Cycling, let's welcome Miss Marelia Salamat as she opens her storybook to share with us her journey as a child, a student, a cyclist, and a young entrepreneur. Hi, I'm Marella Salamat. I grew up in Las Piñas City. I was born to Engineer Rod Salamat and Dr. Marie Vic Salamat. I have two brothers and I'm the eldest of three children. I had the full support of my parents in terms of education and sports. Father ko ang nag-introduce sa akin sa world of sports kasi uh, for him, um, sports is a way of disciplining us as children. Tapos, my first sport was not really cycling. It was bowling. I have played this sport my whole life. So, medyo baguhan lang ako sa cycling in the year 2013. I entered this because I wanted to be physically active without thinking of my diet, gano'n. So, uh, what I think about kapag nagko-compete ako is I always think na pare-pareho kami ng pinagdadaan ng training and then what gives me inspiration really is the time that I allot sa pagte-training na dapat sana magbubunga. Yung pinagdadaanan ko ngayon sa before actually, sa family ko, was I had to stop um, studying to give time for my sport. So, yung mom ko, hindi talaga siya pabor sa pagiging athlete ko because um, she really wants me to finish dentistry. This is the course that she chose for me na hindi ko naman talaga pinili for myself before but I had to do it because uh, she wants me to finish it. So, medyo nagkaroon kami ng mga arguments ganon before. Tapos, yung, yung maibabalik ko lang sa kanya was to show that uh, worth it yung sacrifices ko. And sacrifices rin niya to allow me to to um, push through with this with the sport. So, with that inspiration, yun yung ginagamit ko as a tool para ma-achieve yung mga dapat kong ma-achieve sa mga competitions ko. Um, after the victory that I have accomplished and ayun, uh, syempre, shinare ko naman siya with my family and I'm very happy naman na masaya sila para sa akin. Um, I saw my mom, she was very proud of me. Tapos, um, when I won the 2015 SEA Games in Singapore, uh, when I won the gold medal, my mom and my dad put up this victory party. Kaya yun alone, it showed me na masaya sila sa ginagawa ko. They finally saw that um, I was very passionate with what I was doing. And then, ayun, masaya naman ako na nasusuportahan ako ng parents ko ngayon. I am very thankful to my father for introducing sports to me kasi um, lalo na dito sa cycling. Although hindi ko siya masyadong kasama sa cycling, ako lang ang nagbabike sa pamilya ko. Sports has really made me uh, mature. It has molded me to become a person na positive. It has made me humble and um, someone na may na alam na kahit gaano kahirap yung pinagdadaanan mo, meron ka pa ring patutunguhan. Kasi um, right now, with me being in cycling, tapos ako bumabalik na rin sa, sa dentistry to finish what I have what I have left. Um, Siyempre, mas naging focused ako. Tapos yung, yung kahit hindi ko siya talagang gusto, um, pero kailangan ko marating yung, yung dapat na kayo something to make, my, to make my mom happy, yun yung nakikita kong... Uh, parang inspiration to go through the challenges in life. My tips for the growing cycling public, 
of course, um, dapat i-enjoy lang natin yung ginagawa natin and always have fun. Never never uh, get disappointed if hindi natin ma- ma-reach yung gusto natin makamtan at one point. If, if let's say, um, hindi natin maklaim yung certain hill or uh, hindi natin matapos ang isang session. Kasi um, we always have to take things slowly and be patient. We always have to enjoy what what we're doing. And of course, everything else will follow. Parang, parang uh, sa buhay lang, if, if mas hasa sila sa, sa buhay, if mas una silang naging successful sa buhay, then biglang nag-sports or sa mga kabataan na nagsusports, tapos mahasa pa lang sa buhay, parang pareho lang naman yung pagtanaw ko sa, sa sports and sa buhay. If we take things slowly in sports, everything else will follow. Pareho rin naman po yun sa real life. And of course, if we do reach that point when we win, never forget where we started and who helped us get there. And the lastly, dapat um, bike safety lang.